Right, doing the last two tubs of our first earlies, aren't we? Yeah. Today, get them out of the way. That one's a bit green, aren't yeah. it? Yeah, just put it to one side. Put both of them in there. Bruised potato. Oh. Yeah, she didn't smash it like those two cups she smashed in. Oh no. Right there. Oh, oh these have got a few more in by the looks of it, aren't they? That's not a seed potato, is it? No. It feels a bit squishy. She's gonna I'll be squishy leave it, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, there's your sea potato. No, it's not, is it? Might be the skin of it. Possibly. Oh, there's one. There's one. Is it green? No. No, just dirty. Dirty potato. Dirty potato. Uh, no, it's the best. One of the better ones. Probably one of the best pots we've had so far. Yeah. Just, just put, do the other one straight into it. Put it on top of it. Yeah. Stop in the barrow, then or we can shovel it in there afterwards. It's still growing. Yeah. Put that one to one side. Oh, oh I could give that one to Dana because it's quite <laughs> green. That's not nice. Yeah. All right, last bucket of first early. Yeah. Uh, Duke of Yorks. Uh, I'll tell you what. I oh, so you could have put them ones in here so we could have... Oh, I've seen the difference. Yeah, to stuff it. We know there's two tubs. They're both the same potatoes though, aren't they? Yeah. These, oh, piece of that one. Mm -hmm. Big ones in there. Basically like watching paint dry, folks. Yeah, probably, yeah, that's it. Probably is actually into yeah. watching me doing this, but hey. Yeah. The only difference is they've got my wit and charm back today. Yeah. That's about all I've got back. Yeah. Yeah, I want to give a little shout out to Ali and my rusty garden. Thank you for the Christmas card. Loved it. But, uh, I haven't sewn them yet. I didn't know if it was too late and. I might, I might sew them beets that you sent me. I'm quite interested with them. So thank you again, Ali. Oh, that's a bit. I just cut the green bits off. That's a seed potato, I think. Yeah. And there's the seed potato. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
quick replant that, it might grow. Yeah, we could have done, couldn't we? Yeah. That looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, sea potato there, is it? Oh, squash it. I'll call you a clump of dirt. That's <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Then. That's it. I'll that's give, it, folks. I'll give you a quick look in the greenhouse. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. It'll be the biggest tomato on the planet. Where? <laughs> oh, oh, look. Yeah, yeah, you look at the size of that. Oh. It was almost a chip. So, tomatoes are doing well. The ones in the back, the ones in the front are in uh, what used to be buckets from the supermarkets that they keep the flowers in. So I just drilled some holes in the bottom and I put tomatoes in here, but they were done at the same time as those tomatoes at the back. I don't know if you can tell the difference in here, but those four tomatoes in the back are uh, in the quad grows and I, I tell you what in quad grows from greenhouse sensations well i well I'll just put it like this i'm impressed so far this the size size difference and then uh, you know really impressed so far there's uh my sweet potato i'm training it to grow around that frame so it's not all over by the floor and getting trodded on and then at the back there is my cucumber melon starting to climb now, which I'm quite happy with. He was a bit slow to get off, but he's, he's going now. Uh, oh, uh, no, it's not an avocado. Brain still rattled a bit. Uh, it's a uh, eggplant aubergine. <laughs> and there's a hosta fire and ice behind it, and then me too. Me. Meat eating plants. There's Saracena there, and then there's a little one just down there now with the sticky pads on it. Trying to rescue the uh, spider plant. Spider plant, yeah. I always thought they were indestructible till I let I bought our last that, and now I'm going to try and rescue it. So I've got some chili peppers in there. Let me canna lily starting to send a, send a flower up. Uh, don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Yet. Tracy's pulled all the onions up from the allotment because they were ready. So these are just in the greenhouse now. Just drying out. We've had some and they're very nice, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I mean, some of them. A good size, some of them. But, you know, she was bored, so I said she could pull them up. So done well for a first crop. Yeah, and then that's another aubergine that was starting to outgrow the two litre pot he was in, so I shoved him in a bucket. So it's in the cucumber with the cucumber coming on it. The cucumber with the cucumber coming on oh, it. I've got some cucumbers Look at coming on the size, the size oh, of that. And I put Tesco's to show you. And there, look. Oh. oh, you just turn. Oh, well, that's, that's better than anything Tesco's has ever sold. <laughs> but yeah, so doing well. This little scrawny little tomato plant down here. One tomato. Look at the size of that. Yeah. Look at the size. That's amazing. Almost looks like a green tomato. So, look. Yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I think Trace is going to do an update on the on the front garden tomorrow. Because it's full of wild flowers now and that that we sowed for the insects. And it's looking quite colourful. So we'll stick this on the end. Of this, so uh, we'll be add a bit more on tomorrow for you. Oh, and my bags of cement still haven't multiplied yet. I'm getting pretty sick of them now because they're just not doing out. So we'll speak to you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll we'll, we've just tipped them into the, this pink bowl, and they're weighing three pound. Just over three pound. Just over three pound. So that's not bad considering there's uh, two tubs. That are probably about the best two we've had as well, aren't mm. they? I'd say so. So we'll, we'll see you tomorrow when we show you the, the wild flower garden at the front. Just a quick look round the front garden. Um, I mean, that plant. I'm not sure what it's called, but Wayne's got to cut that down. I think he's going to take some cuttings off it first. But we do, do like them. We've got some foxgloves. 
Um, I'm not sure what these plants are called, but they are absolutely gorgeous. What I did was I sprinkled some um, wildflower seeds. Um, I went a bit white mad because there's quite a few different ones here now, but I've got some little poppies. But there is, there's loads of um, lovely, lovely, lovely flowers. Some more poppies over there. Some gorgeous different colours though. Now that they're all out, you can see what they are. I mean, I'm, I, I really don't know what, what flowers are called, but look at those they're beautiful little dainty flowers. Absolutely gorgeous and such an array of colour. Look at them. Beautiful. So yeah, I just thought I'd... It's nice because last year we had a boatload of... Um, they were really, really big, the... Uh, poppies that we had in so I took them out but absolutely beautiful little flowers Wayne's got to tie them up oh, or I'll do it tomorrow if he shows me what I'm doing but yeah really really nice yeah they definitely need tying up because they've all fallen haven't they look at these orange ones Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that one I took a bit of a chop to because I couldn't get past. But I think we're going to cut it down and then we might move it right over to the corner. And I like these as well. These are the big, big daisies. But they are absolutely lovely. Roses, I've got a dead head. Them, they've uh, they need a real good cut down this year because um, they are a bit a bit straggly. So I'm going to cut them down, and then they can um, flourish next year. Then, can't they? But yeah. I didn't have much colour in it up until when I've sprinkled all those wild flowers over it, but I absolutely love it. Just thought I'd share it with you anyway, because we've not done a lot down the allotment. It uh, was not being very well, so. But yeah, 